On May the 1st, 2017, I uploaded my first booktube video. It was a May TBR, which I already unlisted from my channel, but it was the start of my wonderful booktube adventure. Hi there, it's Miracle. I'm a booktuber, meaning that I like to talk about books and also make videos about them. Today is my one year booktubing anniversary. I plan to talk about what I learned from this one year of booktubing, my thoughts and my appreciation. But I found out that the biggest thing I learned from myself for the past year is that I am terrible at making discussion videos. For example, I never make them actually. And for another example, I have so many things I want to include in this video, but when I try to make some bullet points about them, my mind just go blank. So today I think we're just going to talk about what comes to me at this moment. So I guess the first thing I want to say is thank you. Thanks to all the friends who watch, comment, like and subscribe to my channel. And also thanks to other channels for your wonderful support. I have never seen a online or even offline community is more welcoming or warmer than booktube. I remember when I first started, I thought maybe for months I'll be the only one who's watching my video. And also I'm worried about I don't have like any interesting personality so people will find me boring. And also I'm worried about my English is not good enough so nobody will understand what I'm talking about. But to my surprise, I got my first comment pretty quickly and the commenter suggested me to do the booktube newbie tag. By that time, I don't even know what's a booktube newbie tag. But I'm so glad I did it. Not only because it helps other channels to find my content, but also helps me to find more new friends throughout the tag. The other thing is, when I first started, I was worried about maybe I'm not able to come up with new video ideas. But then I learned the more you create, the more creative you are. By saying that, I don't mean that my booktube channel is a creative booktube channel. It's actually not very creative, full of the classic booktube contents, for example, book reviews, recommendations, and wrap up. But I found myself able to put more and more thoughts on those videos. And also, I learned so much from other people's videos as well. Inspiration on booktube is everywhere. Besides all the amazing community-wise experience on booktube, it also helped me to get more clear about my reading and it helped me to understand how I want to structure my reading. Reading for me is for fun and for enjoyment for sure, but I also want to get something out of the books that I read. Before I came to the US, I was always a avid reader. I hosted my own offline book club, choose a thing for each month and read accordingly. But after I came here, for a long time, I was always clueless when I went to the bookstore. Yeah, I can recognize some of the classic titles, but I also want to read more contemporary or literary fiction that published recently. So for me, discovering booktube helps me a lot even before I started my own channel. But after I started the channel, I found myself get into this community and also get into reading a lot more. For one, I have found so many people who has like similar reading tastes with me. For the other one, I am able to discuss the books that I liked or disliked and it's such a rewarding experience. So for the upcoming brand new booktubing year, I don't really have a big plan or something, but there are some things I do want to work on. The first thing I want to work on is I want to comment more on the booktube videos that I watched. I watch a lot of booktube videos, but I would say that I only comment on 10% of the videos that I watch. It's partially because I think I'm really bad at discussion, so every time I want to reply, I need to think about it for a while. And after a while, I just didn't go back to the video and leave a comment. I'm really sorry about that. I do understand a continuous discussion is very important when exchanging ideas. And also I understand that commenting is very important for the health of our community. So I will work on that in this upcoming booktubing year. And the second thing is I want to do more book reviews. I know that there are a lot of controversial ideas about the book review on booktube, but personally, I really love them. I love that we have a larger chunk of time dedicated to one book and we are able to discuss and analyze the writing, the plot, the character, and the things it delivers in our review videos. For me, part of the beauty of literature is the process of understanding it. And what's more exciting is we each have our own thoughts about the same content. 
However, I did not nearly make enough review videos as I wanted to. So for the upcoming year, I want to make more book reviews and also improve my critique abilities. And the third thing is, I want to do a read-along of the most classic Chinese classics, The Story of the Stone, or also called Dream of Red Chamber by Cao Xueqin. I plan to do this after I have done all the season 1 of the Chinese literature videos, so it should be coming on the last quarter of this year. And other than those, I want myself to continue reading, continue discuss books with all you lovely bookish people. And thanks again and a lot for this past year, I really appreciate it. I hope we all enjoy this beautiful spring season. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy reading. Bye.